Party. Grant Cohen opinions have gotten under this dude's skin. What is up, everybody? It's Michael here today with another video. I know I did a video on this yesterday. You can go check it out, but I really didn't get into... I didn't really give my two cents. I just gave a little bit of my trash talk. So, wait, let me take a quick sip of this. All right, I had time to think it over, you know, rewatching that whole clip. And I'm going to give my um, full analyst of what, because I know there's Grant Cohen fanboys that will probably jump in my comment section and be like, oh, why are you messing with Grant Cohen? You know, he's the GOAT and you know that and if I probably see one of Grant's followers, in my comment section, I'll be like, yeah, they, they didn't even watch the whole thing. So um, my question would be to those grant followers, please watch the whole thing before you start going in my comment section and then writing like 50 essays about talking about how wrong I am and how, oh, Grant's the goat. So please just listen. Listen. So I rewatched the whole thing. The whole stream. Not not the one that Grant... uh uploaded i watched the whole stream just see if i can get a uh, closer eye on it was kid law acting childish of how he handled it sure i think as a football player you really should not care what the media says nor does but for grant's perspective all right and i know because i because i'm gonna criticize grant his, his followers are already typing in my comment section. Listen. So, if you guys support Grant Cohen, good for you. But a good supporter tells their content creator whether or not they're goods and wrongs. Why would Grant Cohen give Ken Wall a link to the stream? Just my honest question. Just my own, excuse me. So, why would Grant Cohen gave Kinwa a link to the stream? It's simple. Let me answer that question for you. Because Grant Cohen loves to create chaos. Half of his videos are basically shitting on other individual players so looking at the situation at hand grant instigated the situation grant knew what he was getting into when he dropped that link for kid law he knew what he was getting into so the fact that his fanboys or some people are going after kid law you do know if it wasn't for grant cohen dropping the link he would have never had access to that platform we already know half the 49ers players in that locker room in that practice facility do not respect Grant Cohen they're just like just answer your question and just move on half the 49ers players do not want to be anywhere near you know, basically, you know, when that COVID shit thing was going around and uh, um, they said you have to be six feet, that's basically what it was. Just It's basically just Grant Cohen stays on his side of the field and we'll stay on our side of the field. So the 49ers do not want, it, players do not want anything to do with Grant. Most of them don't even like him and talk shit behind him behind the scenes. Debo's done it. Ayuk's done it. Uh, Kill's done it. Jimmy G has done it. Multiple individuals, and not even not even the 49ers players have already commented about this. Tyree Kill's comment on it. 
Um, who else has got Richard Sherman, who's not even on the 49ers anymore, has made a comment about it. Every, like players from different individual teams have made a comment about about Grand Cohen's actions with a uh, kid law just two nights ago. And I obviously wasn't going to give my two cents about it because um, I was supposed to be on Rumble Stream, but I wasn't on there, unfortunately. So, that's my two cents about it. Grant should have never gave Kidlaw the link, and Kidlaw should have just said, you know, just never, just let, let him talk. But do I think Grant deserved it? Honestly, he did. And and let me explain before his fanboys jump in my comment section. It's simple. When you instigate stuff, eventually it's going to bite you in the ass. Do not ask for the smoke if you're not ready for it. Do not ask for the smoke if you're not ready for it. Obviously, Grant was not ready for it at the practice civility. He was not. And from what I heard, they squashed it, but I don't think that really is true. Let me tell you why. Immediately when Grant said that they squashed it, last night's live stream, he's still talking about it. When you have disagreements and you find out you, you squashed the whole thing, you don't later still talk about it. You just forget forget that it actually fucking happened. So, I'm not a 49ers fan. I'm a Bears fan. This is our week one opponent. And I had shit to say when Grant Cohen dropped that video saying, Oh, they, thank God the NFL gave us the Bears week one. Uh, the Bears are such a very weak team, you know, they really didn't do anything this offseason, even though you could go look at that video I did, and I basically said, nah, you're BSing, dude. So anyways, after rewatching that stream, I could pretty much say, Greg Cohen is still going to do what he does. They're not going to fire him because of his uh, father working for that facility. As far as Kidlock goes, I think they already spoke to him be like, dude, just don't even interact with him. We don't even interact with him anyway. So, no one's going to get punished. Nobody. Not Grant. Not Kidlaw. Not anybody. Nobody's getting punished. They probably already told Kinlaw be like, dude, we don't even respect this dude. Just don't go even near him. Just pretend he's not even there. So anyways, this has been your boy Michael, and I'm gone.